either the wife belittles her husband or the husband belittles his wife. This is one of the biggest dangerous shaitan infused factors, subhanallah. It's like bukhur, incense. Do you know that burning stick? Once you start it small and you burn it, it burns the whole thing, subhanallah. If we don't deal with it and stop it from the beginning, it can catch fire and, and only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can protect us from the after affair. Be, do not belittle a person, even if you're richer than him, even if the husband is richer than the wife, do not belittle her because of that. If the wife richer than the husband, do not belittle him. I'm the one who's paying your money. I'm the one who's paying rent. And la, 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 dear sister, calm down. Don't use it even in the moment of anger because shaitan, subhanallah, is uh, from the ones who uses these uh, uh, a point to wedge and put in a gap between the husband and the wife. This belittling could be even by body language. Aha, uh -huh. be careful, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Body language is important because a husband will understand the body language of the wife because of their relationship together, and the wife will understand the body language of her husband. Yes. Number two, always mentioning the bad, never mentioning the good. Always find the good. Don't look for the bad. Even if the good is yani, little, make sure the good is the one that flourishes and speak about the good. Never mention the bad and never always yani, mention the, 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 the negativity. Don't always be negative. Don't say, oh, you never do this for me. You never do that. And this is a character in a woman. Yani, it came in the hadith of the Prophet that if he did all of his life good thing, after he makes one mistake, the woman will only focus on the mistake and she forget, forgets all of the good that he has done. Number three, don't be from the ones that are always in defense mode. Why? When you're always in defense mode with your husband or when the husband, let's say, in defense mode with his wife, you're not opening the understanding of the ayah and the hadith, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا uh, so you can feel at home and ease within them, your partner. Your partner is the home that you can feel secure. Because if you're always at defense and keeping an arm's length, as they say, away, you're not going to be, uh, or, 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 don't make barriers between you and your husband. They always, women sometimes make uh, fortresses between them and their husband. So she doesn't have her heart broken. And the same sometimes for the men. No. Uh, number four, negligence. Don't be from those who neglect, ne neglect uh, uh, the, the husband or the wife. And in many, many brothers, he, 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 you will find him, mashallah, he, he is uh, uh, the most famous brother in the community. But when you look in his house, subhanallah, he doesn't talk to his wife. He thinks that he's uh, 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 the lion of the house in a sense that Yani, nobody should speak when he comes inside the house. Everybody respects him, everybody. And in, in a wrong way. La, 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 la. Look at the Prophet Sallallahu Look at Umar ibn Khattab. Umar ibn Khattab used to play with his kids. And a man came to him when he was in charge. A man came to him that he put him in charge of one of the cities. He found him lying on his back. He found Umar ibn Khattab lying on his back, playing with one of his kids like a father does. So that man said to Umar ibn Khattab, I never do this. What's this? And he belittled him. He's like, no, 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 that's not character of a man inside his house. You have to be stern. Umar bin Khattab cancelled him from his duty. He said, no, 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 you can't be a mayor of that city. No, no, no. If you are not mercy, merciful with your own family, how could you be merciful to the people that I put you in charge? Look at the wisdom and the hikmah. Be gentle. Don't be يعني, negligent in regards to what's going on. And, 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 and be alert in regards to what's happening inside your house for your own wife and for your own family. So you know what is going on in, in, with your wife as well. When she's sad, when she's not sad, when you need to bring her chocolates and flowers, when, when you need to make her happy, when you need to take her. Ask, be a, a, a husband that is alert, not a husband that is negligence. Don't be in defense mode all the time and don't be in attack mode. This attack mode, shouting, screaming, or you igniting the problem. Oh, if you are a man, divorce me. This is a problem that I've just been dealing with now. There is a, uh, subhanallah, uh, uh, case that I'm dealing with now. Yani, the, the, they, they had a fight. 
they had a fight in regards to what's good in regards to yani husband and wife stuff and the sister may allah forgive her and us she said to the husband if you are uh, uh, if you are man divorce me allahu akbar that this is very bad you don't say to a man if you are a man because you are setting you up for failure setting yourself up for failure and you're setting yourself up for divorce wallahi that sister she's regretting it because the, the brother is clever in this sense yani this is a, a rare case from the, what, what usually happens this brother became patient and he walked out the house he didn't say anything he noticed that, that, that something and he left So he imagine in that moment if shaitan came to him and whispered to him and 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 khalas he gave her divorce they're going to be in a different story now. but that brother now is sad he's not happy he left and he's living in his family's house and that sister now is all alone by herself and and we're trying to rectify the situation to the best but it is heavy you're speaking about a man's yani uh, reputation a man's uh, manhood a man's everything the character about a man you can't say to a man if you are man you and the same with the wife you can't come and say something that is very rude like that to the wife that subhanallah na'am uh, jazakallah khair it is worse when it's done in front of the children ah the fighting the abuse the attack is worse because the children will hate you the children will will will, will become tormented because of you they will have bad character because of you. they will be the ones who will hit their wives and their children in the future because of you and remember the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in regards to starting a bad action whoever starts a sunnah he's going to get and uh, the either the reward for it Uh, for and for everybody that does it or he's going to get the sin for it and for everybody that does it so when it comes to verbal physical yani this should never even exist in a marriage